Judy Holliday made a significant impact on classic Hollywood, leaving a lasting impression on the film industry. When thinking about her memorable career, you might recall the first time you came across her work or the standout moments in her legendary filmography. Share your special memories or personal experiences with this classic Hollywood actor in the comments below. Stay tuned for interesting stories, funny, surprising, or even touching as we explore the world of Judy Holliday. We look forward to hearing your stories. Keep an eye out for more insights into this Hollywood star. Born on June 21, 1921 in New York City, she came from a modest background that was key to her successful acting career. Growing up in Sunnyside, Queens, her childhood was filled with curiosity and a growing love for performing. Raised by her mother alone, she faced the challenges of the Great Depression, which taught her resilience. Despite being short on money, her family valued education highly. She went to Julia Richmond High School, where her talent for the arts started to show. Her acting journey began early, with local stage performances hinting at her future fame. The lively cultural scene of New York City in the 1930s exposed her to various artistic influences, refining her skills and sparking her passion for the arts. In 1938, she started attending New York University, diving into drama studies. The city's lively environment, along with its thriving theater scene, was her practice ground. It was then that she polished her acting skills and gained a deep understanding of her craft, setting her apart in the years ahead. Her career took a significant turn when she joined a small theater group catching the eye of casting agents. This led to her major role in the Broadway production of Kiss Them For Me in 1945, a key step toward her future achievements. Her natural charisma and skill in comedy on stage received praise, foreshadowing her success in both Broadway and Hollywood. Her journey from the streets of Queens to the Broadway stage is a testament to her dedication and love for the performing arts. Her early life, shaped by the struggles of her time and the rich cultural environment of New York City, prepared her for a career that would leave a lasting impression on classic Hollywood. While filming Born Yesterday without an audience, challenges arose for Holiday. Accustomed to crew laughter during rehearsals, she had to adjust to playing scenes in total silence due to the quick-paced dialogue that risked being drowned out by laughter, as later criticized by reviewers. At 31, she became a mother to her only child, Jonathan Oppenheim, born on November 11, 1952, with her husband, David Oppenheim. This marked a significant personal milestone for her during a period of her career. When officially meeting Harry Cohn after being cast in Born Yesterday, she encountered a less than flattering comment from him. Cohn's attempt to sign her to a standard seven-year contract came with disparaging remarks about her appearance. Instead, she negotiated a one-film-a-year contract for seven years, allowing her to continue living in New York between pictures. The deal secured her the low salary of $30,000 with modest $10,000 raises promised for subsequent films. These instances shed light on her professional resilience and negotiation skills. They showcase her determination to maintain a balance between her film career and other interests, illustrating a pragmatic approach to the Hollywood industry. Her journey, both on and off the screen, reveals not only her acting skills, but also her ability to navigate the complexities of the entertainment business. Her experiences highlight a woman who, despite facing challenges, succeeded in carving her path in classic Hollywood. Judy Holliday strategically navigated the Hollywood landscape and an interesting anecdote sheds light on her resourcefulness. Katherine Hepburn, aiming to bolster her own standing with Columbia Pictures' chief Harry Cohn, subtly maneuvered by leaking stories that implied Holliday's performance in Adam's Rib overshadow Woodher and Spencer Tracy. This ploy caught Cohn's attention, ultimately securing Holliday the pivotal role in Born Yesterday. Later in life, Holliday faced personal challenges as her son, who pursued a career as a documentary film editor, passed away in 2020. This was a poignant chapter in her life, adding a layer of depth to the woman known for on-screen wit and resilience. A connection from the film world involves Gene Hagen, Holliday's stunt double in Born Yesterday on Broadway. Notably, Hagen's film debut occurred in Adam's Rib, where Holliday portrayed Doris the Tinger. It shows Holiday's influence, paving the way for others, intertwining professional relationships within the industry. In a behind-the-scenes glimpse into her journey, the challenges during the filming of Born Yesterday come to the fore. Accustomed to crew laughter during rehearsals, she had to adjust to playing scenes in total silence due to the quick-paced dialogue. 
This nuance showcases her adaptability and commitment to delivering authentic performances. The Hollywood negotiations with Harry Cohn while securing Holiday a seven-year contract also reveal her pragmatic approach. Despite disparaging remarks about her appearance, negotiations allow with her to maintain a New York residence between pictures. The modest salary and subsequent raises illustrate her determination to strike a balance between her film career and personal life, navigating the complexities of the entertainment business. Her story unfolds as a fascinating narrative of strategy, personal resilience, and professional adaptability. From strategic leaks shaping her Hollywood trajectory to personal milestones and industry connections, the journey offers a glimpse into the dynamic world of classic Hollywood. Judy Holliday's portrayal of Billy Dawn in Born Yesterday made a lasting impression in Hollywood. During location shooting in Washington, director George Cukor's emotional response to the Jefferson Memorial prompted him to take Holiday and William Holden on a tour of the city. This off-screen moment showcased how the surroundings affected the film's cast, adding a unique layer to the production. In the film Full of Life, Holiday took on a rare scene depicting childbirth on screen. This departure from her usual comedic roles highlighted her versatility as an actress. It's worth noting that such moments, though infrequent in her filmography, showcased her willingness to embrace diverse roles. The journey to Holiday's role as Billy Dawn had unexpected turns. Her performance as Doris Attinger in Adam's Rib inadvertently became a screen test for Born Yesterday. A pivotal scene, shot in one take, shifted the focus entirely to Holiday, catching the attention of decision makers. This stroke of luck led to her casting over more glamorous stars like Rita Hayworth and Lucille Ball. Catherine Hepburn's subtle maneuvering to boost Holiday's standing with Columbia Pictures' chief Harry Cohn played a key role in securing her the role in Born Yesterday. This behind-the-scenes strategy unveiled the strategic dynamics at play in Hollywood during that era. Holiday's negotiations with Cohn reflected her pragmatic approach to the industry. Despite disparaging remarks about her appearance, she secured a unique one-film-a-year contract, allowing her to maintain her New York residence. Her modest salary and subsequent raises underscored her determination to balance her film career with personal priorities. The challenges she faced during the filming of Born Yesterday provided a glimpse into her adaptability and commitment to authentic performances. Accustomed to crew laughter during rehearsals, she adjusted to the silent set, showcasing her professionalism. Judy Holliday's Hollywood journey was a testament to her adaptability, resilience, and strategic navigation within the industry. From unexpected screen tests to behind-the-scenes maneuvers, her story unveils a dynamic and fascinating narrative of classic Hollywood.